My dear friends, my dear brothers, sisters, good evening. Some time ago, a group of seminary students objected to the idea of praying, fasting, and almsgiving. They said those are old practices without much meaning during these times. And so their superior, Father Prefect, sat down with them and asked them, how much do they spend for soft drinks? How much do they spend for beer or cigarettes? or loading their cell phones. And the prefect asked them, if you could only cut into half what you spend on those items, then what you save will be put together to support the stu studies of poor but deserving students, then you might find meaning in fasting and praying and almsgiving. With the Jews to be holy, they had to do three traditional practices of piety, namely fasting, praying, and thanks and almsgiving. Likewise, the first Christians like Saint Anthony of the Desert he renounced his property, even if his parents were rich landowners. He gave much of his property to his sister to take care of her, and he went to the desert to pray, to meditate, and to fast. People flocked to him, consulted him on several difficult matters, and even theologians asked for his help in settling a very difficult problem during those times, namely whether Jesus is only a man or is Jesus also true God. In other words, the dangerous heresy of Arianism. Fortunately, the wisdom of St. Anthony of Abbot together with that of St. Athanasius won the day. So today we have the beautiful belief which is true, that Jesus is true God and true man. People might ask, is it still meaningful to fast these days when there's so much suffering on account of the pandemic? when so much destruction has been caused by the super typhoon or death, I submit to your consideration that yes, fasting and almsgiving have a place in today's religious practices. Whatever we can save by saving on unnecessary things, and putting them together can help a family or two who have been victims of this typhoon or death, or has a family member very sick from this pandemic. Let's pray that the words of the Lord about the practice of fasting, doing it at the right time, at the proper place, praying and thanksgiving will still reverberate during our times and people will ins be inspired to do good for the sake of others and for the greater glory of God. Amen.